Okay, welcome back. As I was saying, um, the the Copernican system is much simpler. It's closer to the truth, and it therefore more easily explains what's actually observed. The Aristotelian uh, Earth-centered model was much more complicated because in order to account for because since it's much further from the truth, it has uh, you have to add in a lot of things. So um, in this timeline. One of the next important steps, 1630, and that's when Galileo, okay, that's when he proposes the first, basically, principle of relativity, although it's not um, clear or it's probably uh, dubious that he actually formulated it in a very precise way but he was concerned with the idea of sailors on a boat so basically he says his his principle was that sailors on a uniformly moving boat cannot determine the boat's speed by performing simple onboard experiments okay oops So of course there's ways to determine the speed of a boat by, for example, looking at the shore, uh, looking at, or maybe dropping something in the water and letting a, a rope out and seeing how fast it gets let out, etc. But those actually involve experiments or observations that are external to the boat. So if you basically go down into the hold of the boat, into a windowless room in the boat, and you have no rocking if it's a completely clear and um, waveless ocean and you're moving along at a particular constant speed you can't determine what that speed is nor that you are moving at all okay so some of the consequences okay uh, well what one thing is that if we accept this then as empiricists, that is, as scientists who need evidence, um, then we basically, what this means is that we reject as meaningless essentially the concept um, with no, any concepts with no um, observable consequences. Okay, and so the conclusion is if we reject anything which has no observable consequences, then the conclusion is that there is no such thing as absolute motion. So any statement of an object's speed, for example, must be made with respect to something else. With respect to something else. Okay, so we don't have a way of measuring absolute speed and we have no way of determining, uh, of getting evidence for absolute speed or absolute motion, and so we reject that it exists. Now, when Copernicus um, proposed uh, this sun-centered model, and when Kepler defended it a few decades later, <clears throat> 